Modbus can be traced back to the late 1970s. The Modbus communication interface for a multi-drop network based on the master client architecture was first released in 1979 by PLC manufacturer Modicon, now a brand of Schneider Electric. Modbus is a request response based data communication protocol. It's used to transfer data between devices linked to buses or networks through serial lines, ethernet, or wireless. In the industrial production industry, Modbus is the most extensively used network protocol. The most typical use case is communication between a sensor, programmable logic controller, or programmable automation controller in an HMI or SCADA system. Modbus is popular because it's an open source, easy to use, and widely utilized, giving it a dependable method of exchanging discrete or analog I.O. and registered data between control devices. We have Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP. Modbus RTU stands for Remote Terminal Unit and is the most common variant and is used for serial connections. With Modbus RTU, data is transmitted in binary. This type of serial connection is a point-to-point -point connection. Messages are sent over Modbus RTU networks, RS-485, RS-422, or RS-232 physical signal standards, which describe the electrical properties of serial communication drivers and receivers. Modbus must be able to link many server devices, permit faster data transfers, and provide data transfers over long distances in modern systems. RS-485 and RS-422 were utilized to do this. The usage of multi-drop wiring schemes is facilitated by RS-485 and RS-422, which extend the range of transmissions to up to 4,000 feet before a repeater is required. Modbus TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and is an industrial ethernet protocol that uses TCP, IP, at the transport layer. It's used to build a multi-point network in which a single client device can communicate with several server units via the physical ethernet layer. A message is wrapped in a TCP packet, which is then wrapped in the IP packet, which is subsequently transmitted using ethernet electrical signaling. Modbus TCP's primary role is to ensure that data packets are received correctly, whereas IP ensures that messages are addressed and routed correctly. Although speed is not normally a necessary requirement for the operation of many Modbus devices, an Ethernet connection is faster than a serial connection. It is also more dependable and allows data to be transmitted across larger distances. Modbus TCP, unlike RTU, allows numerous devices to use a single network port. Modbus TCP allows thousands of server units to connect at the same time and supports many client devices in a network. These are our data acquisition modules. If you go on our website, you can choose which protocol you want to see and to receive a filtered list of the protocols you've selected. Here we are looking at Modbus RTU and TCP modules. Modbus is an industrial protocol that can be used in a variety of applications such as construction, infrastructure, transportation, and energy. The messaging mechanism supported by all devices is the common factor. It can be used in labs for temperature monitoring, transportation for maintaining and controlling traffic, and home and building automation for different sensor devices. If you're enjoying this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. These are just a few of our Modbus data acquisition modules. Remote I.O., IoT, controllers, sensors, smart power meters, and data loggers. And these are more of our Modbus modules converters and gateways, wireless modules, and programmable automation controllers. This is our selection of packs and other controllers.
This is an example of how Modbus RT works. Our TPD controller can be used as the Modbus Master in the TMR5, M7017, and M7060 can be used as slaves. The master request and the slave send back a response. This is Modbus TCP. Our TPD controller is the Modbus client and connects to an Ethernet switch, the NS205. The switch communicates through Ethernet with Modbus servers, which can be our ET modules. And our TGW715 communicates to a slave over RS-485 interface. These are some examples of our TSH700 series. This is raw data communication with two masters and one slave, and this one is showing a protocol conversion. This is an example of our MDC700 series. They are Modbus concentrator devices that perform predefined Modbus RTU commands to read and write data from Modbus RTU slave devices. They mirror data from the slave devices to its own shared memory, which shortens the time to read and write data from multiple Modbus RTU slave devices. And then we have our tiny Modbus TCP to RTU gateways using our TGW715 modules. The first diagram shows the TCP masters to RTU gateways, while the one on the bottom shows it with dual ports. We have HMI and SCADA software for nearly every solution. We sell both Aviva and Indusoft SCADA packages, and as you can see, there are plenty of options to choose from. If you want to learn more about our Modbus products or have any questions, feel free to visit our website or contact a member of the ICP-DAS USA team.